Hello my dear friends and welcome to my channel. My name is Barbara and today we're going to be looking at Sun in the 10th house. So this video is for you if you have this particular placement. If you're a cross watcher, welcome as well. This video is also going to resonate for those of you who have Leo occupying your 10th house as well. So Leo Midheaven. So the Sun in our natal chart deals with our ego, our identity. It is our sense of self. It could be the area where we receive our sense of pride from. It could also be the area where we are looking for the applause. We're looking for that validation or we are looking for that admiration from the crowd with the sun energy as well. Sometimes with the sun, I've heard that it is who we think we are. Other times I have heard that it is who we are growing into being. Also, the sun can be our father as well or that dominant masculine role in your life. The 10th house, it is going to be the top of the chart. It is the higher heights. It is going to be the higher echelons of society, getting the money, getting the gains, getting the wealth is your public image, is your career. And sometimes it can be how you want the world to perceive you. So when you guys have your son in your 10th house, Basically, you guys want the world to perceive you as someone who is super, super influential and super, super accomplished as well, and maybe even very, very wealthy as well. So it is a wealth placement actually to have your son in the 10th house, but the thing is the 10th house is the top of the natal chart. So you are working your way toward the 10th house. Now you guys having son in the 10th house, you guys are probably going to be very, very well aware of this energy that you guys have to work hard, be perseverant to get to those end goals. The thing is sometimes when you're younger and maybe you guys aren't in those positions yet, you guys could really, really feel like like it's affecting your self-worth or just like you don't really have a strong sense of self or you guys might not be confident in yourselves but the thing is the more time goes on with this energy and the more you guys are focused on that goal and getting to those higher heights and getting the money and getting the gains and really putting your energy in towards something and perfecting perhaps some sort of craft or career you guys are focused on you guys will see that the applause will come that those accolades will come the admiration everything you guys are looking for but the thing is like i mentioned in the earlier part of your life maybe you guys aren't there yet necessarily because that's the thing the 10th house usually you are climbing to that energy it is the top of the natal chart and usually the 10th house or capricorn energy or just saturn energy overall it's the second half of your life now i'm not trying to discourage anyone but that's just the nature of the energy obviously it depends on the aspects and what else is going on in your natal chart and transits and all of these things maybe you guys are going to get to success earlier on in life but traditionally in astrology, because it is the top of the chart, it's more of a mature energy. So it's like you guys are working hard towards something, towards some sort of goal, and eventually you guys do achieve it the harder you work toward it, because Saturn rewards those who work hard toward it. The thing is though, with the 10th house, there's going to be a lot of trials and tribulations, Saturn's gonna knock you guys down a lot of times just to see a lot of the time with the energy, the way that I feel into it at least, it feels very much like Saturn is asking you guys, how bad do you want something? How much are your eyes on the prize? Because ultimately at the end of the day, the people who are the most successful in this lifetime aren't necessarily going to be the smartest people. Yes, being smart and intelligent can definitely help you in your journey. Absolutely, that is still there. But sometimes smart and intelligent people can be a little bit more on the lazier side. But anyways, that's a conversation for a different day. So the thing is, it's not these people who end up being the most successful. The people who are the most successful are the ones who keep pushing through until the end. They are perseverant. They are going toward their goal. They don't let things knock them down. And especially if you guys have a certain vision for yourselves or goal for yourselves, the way that I have always seen it is if you have a vision for yourself, you were given that vision for a specific reason. So the 10th house is teaching you guys exactly this. It's that grit energy is really what that is. And you guys have that. So you incarnated already having this energy within yourselves. Now it depends on the rest of the energies in your natal chart once again, and what else is going on in your natal charts to see how this could manifest, what area of life this could manifest in. But this is really the whole premise here. The harder you guys work towards something, the more you guys are putting your energy and attention to Toward that particular thing, the more you guys are going to see an outcome is really, really what that is. Now, the 10th house overall can be your career. Yes, it can also be how you want the public to perceive you as well. A lot of the time, traditionally, the 10th house is associated with like governmental structures or like political structures, corporate structures as well. But it doesn't just have to be this in terms of maybe the career that you guys are going for, especially if you have Leo in that 10th house. The thing is, when we look at Leo in the 10th house, this is going to be someone who wants to be seen and respected and viewed as someone who is a very, very creative person. When you have Leo in that 10th house. So if we look at Sun in the 10th house, maybe this is something that you guys are going to be interested in as well. Depends what's the sign in here and what else is going on overall in your natal charts, what's going on with your midheaven as well, because we are looking at the 10th house as well. It's going to give us a little bit more information as to how this energy 
is going to express itself. Maybe it's going to be in a completely different realm of life, but that's the whole thing here. The whole name of the game for you guys is to be seen, is to be seen as someone of authority and in an authoritative position. Now, the thing is, this might kind of be tricky for you guys when you're younger because you guys already carry this energy within you. So maybe when you guys are younger, you guys already have this authoritative vibe to you guys, or maybe there could even be like a little bit of an entitlement energy because it is your ego that's taking place here. So it's like, you guys are going to have to learn how to play the game, especially if you're interested in like working in the corporate world or just like making connections and these types of things to get to those higher echelons of society. Because the way that this world is currently at least is like sometimes if someone sees you and they might see that you might be a potential threat to that person and they are in that higher position above you, they might be threatened that you guys might eventually take their position. So it's like you guys have to learn, especially in the earlier part of your life when you guys are starting to climb to kind of like not come off as intimidating or just like as authoritative. Like obviously confidence is great. You want to be able to deliver this energy. Like I'm sure a lot of employers and people want to see that within people, but you guys don't want to come off a little bit too intimidating or threatening to them because then it's going to threaten their position. That's just a little bit the tricks of the trade with this particular energy. So it's like, you want to be nice enough to kind of like learn from them and have them be your mentors, but like still obviously competent and confident, but not too intimidating or too threatening where it's like they might feel threatened that they are going to be replaced eventually. Obviously this isn't going to be the case for everybody. Sometimes there are very nice mentors out there in the world who just like want to take someone under their wing and don't care whether they get replaced or not. But more often than not in these corporate structures and especially in the higher echelons of society, you guys have to look at it as it's a similar energy to what you guys have in your natal charts. It's like when someone creates a lot of their ego and their identity to a particular thing, it's like when that thing is no longer there, they might struggle with their sense of self, for example. So it's like you guys could have this energy within you as well because it is your ego you guys could create a lot of your ego or your identity around your career or how the public perceives you or maybe you guys do get to those higher echelons of society and then maybe you guys might be the ones who don't want to promote people because you guys don't want to lose your position. The thing is that might not be everybody, but the thing is with the sun energy and just like the ego in general, and this is probably why they say sometimes the sun is who we think we are, because sometimes when we create our ego through something that is external to us or our identity through something that is external to us, when a thing is no longer in our life, it might threaten our sense of security. It'll definitely threaten the sense of self and you guys might not know who you guys are without that particular thing. So it's like to learn to manage the energy within you guys, it's like, yes, definitely have your accomplishments and and have your accolades and have your positions and all of these wonderful things but like don't hold on to it too tightly i hope that makes sense because it's like it might kind of hold you guys back because it might be a little bit of a struggle as to what might take place if that particular thing is no longer there in your life so it's like a lot of your self-worth and your identity is created through this particular thing but keep in mind to maybe have other hobbies on the side or other things that you guys are going after or just like enjoying or like other aspects of your personality so you guys don't get into that position where you're dependent on this particular thing to be your sense of self or to be your validation or to kind of have that applause from the crowd is really, really what that is with this particular energy. So another thing that can take place also, what's really, really interesting is like with the sun, it can be the father. And then the Leo energy can also be like validation that we're seeking or just like the applause that we're seeking or just like the recognition and the approval. So what I've been saying in a lot of these videos is sometimes with the sun energy, first of all, the father could have been like this. So you guys could have learned from the father. Maybe the father was someone who was working in the government or like some sort of higher up corporate role, or maybe he was like very well known and respected or maybe he was some sort of authoritative figure like a judge or something of the sort like it could be this or maybe he had a business that's a whole other energy here that I haven't mentioned yet it's like it's the energy that might want to kind of create their own business and do their own thing so maybe he was like this and then you guys are following in his footsteps or because it is a plane of duality maybe he wasn't like this and you guys were seeking this energy so it's like you guys are kind of building this energy for yourselves on your own. So it really depends because it can go into either of these two energies. But something that I have noticed with the sun energy is that a lot of the time, whatever the sun is in unconsciously, and I'm not a psychologist, by the way, this is just an observation from the energy is like unconsciously, the person is seeking the attention or the approval from the father in that particular area. So for you guys having sun in the 10th house, you guys are seeking the approval from the father in terms of maybe the position you guys have in society or the job you guys have or the career you guys are in unconsciously see this is all happening unconsciously now it doesn't have to be the father it can be the dominant masculine role in your life or if the roles are reversed you would look at that person as well basically whoever was that breadwinner in your life is really really what that is you guys are seeking this approval or attention 
from this person or even you might want to make that person proud by achieving these things and that's another thing too with the sun energy it's also the area where you guys achieve your sense of pride so for you guys it's going to be through all of the achievements and everything you guys have been through because you guys basically know how long it takes how much hard work you guys have to put in how much effort you guys have to put in to get to where it is that you guys are trying to go so when you guys finally achieve that thing you guys are like this is my sense of pride and glory is really really what it is just because of the journey that it took to get there and honestly a lot of the time it's definitely well earned and well deserved because like i mentioned not a lot of people are going to put themselves in those positions to actually put in the hard work and effort we do live in like a very instant gratification type of society especially with everything being so easily and readily available at least in the western world it's like a lot of the time people think that maybe success is also going to be easily available to them or they're going to be an overnight success and these types of things sometimes this might be some people's story where they were a quote-unquote overnight success although more often than not this is a saturnian plane this earth plane obviously it has a bunch of different earth energies taking place in there as well with virgo and taurus yes but ultimately it's very saturnian down here so it's very much about hard work and effort and perseverance and if anybody knows this energy is going to be you guys so you guys incarnated with that energy basically within yourselves is going to give you guys that like ultimate grit potential the ultimate perseverance energy to get to your end goals and the thing is once you guys get there and you guys look back and you guys maybe see people starting out you guys are gonna be like good luck to those people because they have no idea what is in store for them but it just like for you guys again this is where you get a lot of your sense of pride your ego and your identity because you guys overcame that is really really what that is you guys got to where it was that you guys were trying to go with that sun and the 10th house energy so that's the whole thing here if you guys look at it from like a karmic standpoint a lot of the time 10th house energy and a natal chart is karmically here to elevate the financial and social status of the family line that's kind of what you guys are ultimately working toward now one more thing that i also want to mention in this video is you want to see what's going on with your 10th house yes and then you also want to see what's going on with your fourth house as well because what i've been saying a lot of the time with like this particular access and i do have a video on this as well where i talk about the importance of the four house especially if you either have four house placements or if you have 10th house placements the thing is a lot of the time you can't get to the 10th house if you haven't gone through the preceding houses and learned what the preceding houses are here to teach you guys and because the four house is directly opposing this it's going to be your home it's going to be your upbringing and belief systems that you may have internalized from the home so a lot of the time what i say to people is if your 10th house isn't going in the direction that you want it to go in or maybe there's something that might be holding you guys back and you don't know what it is look at your four house and see what took place within your home within your upbringing because there could be something here that you guys may have internalized or a belief system that could energetically be holding you guys back from achieving that ultimate 10th house potential the thing is sometimes with a natal chart the way that i see it at least is that this is a potential as well so it's like for you to achieve that ultimate potential there could be certain shadow things or just things overall that are holding you guys back from achieving that ultimate potential so you really want to explore and see what are those things so you guys can work on that energy within to ultimately get that goal that you guys are seeking so signing here is going to give you a little bit more information about this as well so this is the overall idea with sun in the 10th house you guys are creating your identity through this your ego your sense of self your sense of pride you're looking for the admiration in this particular area which is your career your achievements where you guys are going in life what you guys have achieved in life perhaps even what you guys do for work or even your overall public image so with all that being said i'm going to wrap up this video here on sun in the 10th house i do hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please do like share and subscribe and i hope you all have a beautiful rest of the day